Hello friends! In this video, we will talk about how ants find food. So please watch the video till the end. And if you are new to this channel then, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Ants are fascinating creatures that have captured the imagination of people for centuries. They are social insects that live in large groups called colonies. And their behavior is incredibly complex and sophisticated. One of the most important tasks that ants perform is finding food. Ants have developed a variety of strategies to locate and gather food. Now we will explore the many ways in which ants find food. Section 1. Anatomy and Senses of Ants Ants are incredibly well-adapted creatures that have evolved over millions of years to survive in a wide range of environments. Their anatomy and senses are particularly well-suited for finding food. Ants have compound eyes that allow them to see in multiple directions simultaneously. They also have a pair of antennae that they use to detect smells, tastes, and vibrations. Section 2. Scouting for Food Ants use a variety of methods to locate potential food sources. One of the most important strategies that ants use is scouting. Ants send out scouts to search for food. And these scouts leave the nest and explore the surrounding area. They use their keen senses to detect the presence of food. And they are particularly adept at finding sugary or protein-rich foods. Once a scout has found a potential food source, it will return to the nest to inform the other ants. The scout will leave a trail of pheromones as it returns to the nest. And these pheromones act as a chemical signal to guide other ants to the food source. Section 3. Pheromone Trails Pheromones are a critical part of how ants find food. Pheromones are chemical signals that ants use to communicate with each other. Ants use different pheromones to convey different messages, such as the location of food, the size of the food source, and the urgency of the situation. When a scout finds a potential food source, it will use its mandibles to break off a small piece of the food. The scout will then return to the nest, leaving a trail of pheromones behind it. The pheromones act as a chemical signal that other ants can follow to the food source. As more ants follow the pheromone trail, the trail becomes stronger and more concentrated. This makes it easier for other ants to find the food source. The pheromone trail will continue to lead ants back and forth between the nest and the food source until the food source is depleted. Section 4. Communication Ants use a sophisticated system of communication to coordinate their efforts. They use pheromones to convey different messages. And they can also use touch and vibration to communicate with each other. Ants have a variety of different pheromones that they use to convey different messages. For example, they have alarm pheromones that they use to alert other ants to danger. They also have trail pheromones that they use to mark a path to a food source. Ants can also communicate with each other through touch and vibration. They use their antennae to touch other ants and to detect vibrations in the ground. They can use this method of communication to coordinate their efforts and to send messages about the location of food sources. Section 5. Division of Labor as more ants are recruited to the food source, the colony's workforce is divided into different tasks. Some ants remain at the food source to gather and transport the food back to the nest. Other ants act as scouts to search for additional food sources, while still others stay behind in the nest to care for the young. Ants are highly organized creatures that work together to accomplish their goals. Now you are able to understand how ants find food. Thanks for watching this content. Please like this video. And subscribe to this channel press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.